Good morning, my name is Chris and welcome to my kitchen. As a reminder, this is a real working kitchen. My family is out right now running some errands while I'm making a tasty surprise for them, but still the doorbell might ring, anything might happen. Fall is finally here. And for those of you that know me, you know fall is my favorite season. We've got football, we've got Henleys, sweatshirts, soups, uh, bonfires. And one of my favorite fall activities is going apple picking or going to the pumpkin patch. And one of the reasons I love those is they always have those delicious apple cider donuts. So that's what we're gonna be making today. We're gonna to be making some apple cider donuts. Uh, so let's get started. I've got two cups of flour here that was uh, spooned and then leveled off. Uh, the, the recipe is very specific about that. Uh, honestly, I don't know what difference it is, but that's what the recipe says, so I'm following it. I've got a teaspoon of cinnamon. And for the cinnamon, I used our Pampered Chef, and I don't even know how to say this, Corinthian cinnamon, Corinthian cinnamon. Uh, but it's a really high quality cinnamon. It's got a, a deeper cinnamon flavor. I really enjoy it. And it's only available during the holidays. So if you're interested in trying that, they've got this, they've got the Cinnamon Plus. So check it out. So I've got a teaspoon of that cinnamon and I've got a teaspoon of apple spice seasonings. Now, if you can't find apple spice seasoning, which I couldn't, uh, it's a mixture of um, nutmeg, of cinnamon, and of cardamom. So, uh, the link to that to make their, your own apple spice, uh, pie spice will be in uh, the comments. And then we've got some salt, some baking soda, and uh, some baking powder. So I'm just going to mix all that together. And I'm going to set that aside. Now I'm going to mix a cup of brown sugar a cup of white sugar, half a cup of room temperature milk, a room temperature egg, and a tea, uh, teaspoon of vanilla. Now, before I started filming, one of the things I did is you take a cup and a half of apple cider, they're apple cider don donuts after a while, and you put it on a low heat and you simmer it until you reduce it to half a cup. Now, I'll let you know, this takes longer than I expected, so be forewarned about that. Um, that's why I did it before I started filming, because you don't want to see me stirring and just watching apple, cinnamon, or apple cider simmer for uh, 20 minutes. Then we've got two teaspoons of melted butter. So I'm going to mix this together. It smells like fall. And then I'm going to pour it, well, I'm going to mix it a little bit better. into our dry ingredients. Once it's in our dry ingredients, I'm going to whisk it again. very thick but smells really good. You can really smell the apple cider, uh, you can smell the spices, and you can see it's like a, a almost a caramel brown color. All right, we're going to take our donut pans, and now these are not Pampered Chef donut pans, so please don't tell Pampered Chef on me. Uh, these are just regular Wilton ones. We're going to spray them with ham. And that's the thing I love about Pampered Chef recipes. This isn't a Pampered Chef recipe, but they often say, use this product, use that product. If you have something else that works, use it. 
Now, I believe in Pampered Chef products. I think they're great, but not everything I have is Pampered Chef, and that is okay. Now, to get this in the donut pan, you could spoon it in, but I know myself as a cook, and as you can see, I make a mess very easily. And if I tried to spoon that in, it would pour everywhere. So I'm going to use the batter mixer and dispenser. Just going to pour our batter into it. scrapers to make sure we get it all so you do not want to leave any of this goodness undone. I first tried this recipe last weekend just to make sure it was a good recipe before I shared it with you. I'd hate to share with you a bad recipe. There have been recipes I've tried and then been like nope this is not a good recipe uh, and my daughter's favorite part was licking this bowl afterwards uh, just with the, the batter left. It's, uh, I'm not going to try, lie. I tried it too. The batter tastes delicious. Always be sure to take this lid off, otherwise it won't come out. I tried that a couple times. I'm going to set this for the medium. And then watch how easy this is. Just pull the trigger. circle and fill it no mess and you want to fill the wells of the donut pan about halfway so if you're using the batter mixer and dispenser like I am the middle setting is perfect see even using this I just spilled a little bit on the side and that will bake on but it'll be fine Now, if you have a pastry bag, that would work too. Or, you know, a spoon would work. It's just, I'm a sloppy cook. Uh, my wife likes to joke uh, that I will use every dish in the kitchen and make a tremendous mess. It doesn't just look like I've cooked. It looks like I've gone to war. So I love this battery mixer dispenser. Um, I've only used it for mixing once and I want to give it another try. I didn't love it for that before. This type of thing for using with a brownie pan for uh, pancakes, it's fantastic. I just don't usually mix in it. Now you can see we've got a fair amount of batter left. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab the mini brownie pan, go and give it a quick spray. I'm gonna put these in the oven at 350 degrees for 11 minutes. are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and just set it on the lowest setting and make myself some apple cider uh, donut bites. They're not quite donut holes. I mean, I'm not literally cutting the holes out of the donuts. But they'll be little brownie bites, but they'll taste like apple cider uh, donuts. 
There won't be enough to fill up the whole pan, but you can get a half dozen out of it. And again, look how quick that dispenser makes it. So I got 14, well, 13 and a tiny baby one. Uh, so that'll be a nice little treat. I'm gonna let those bake, clean up a little bit, and then I'll be back with you in a few minutes. All right, our time is up. So let's pull them out and see how they look. So as you can see, they look nice and, and puffy. And to tell if they're done, you should be able to push them and they should have a little bit of give, but they should spring back. So these are done. So we're gonna pull these out. We're gonna put our uh, apples, uh, cider, donut bites in. And we're gonna do those for 11 minutes as well. So we're gonna let these cool for two or three minutes and that's it, and then we're gonna flip them over and let them rest on the cookie racks. Once they are cool to touch, we're gonna to put the finishing touches, which is uh, that tasty cinnamon uh, sugar mixture that, that coats all the, the donuts. So I'll see you as soon as these are cool enough to touch. All right, so our donuts are cool. They are still warm, uh, which is great. And so what I did is I mixed a uh, cup of sugar, three quarters cup of cinnamon, and three quarter cups of the apple pie spice. And if you'll remember, that's a, a mixture of cardamom, uh, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And I'm going to mix up a little bit more. So I'm going to put that in one bowl. And then I melted six cups of butter, or six tablespoons of butter, six cups of butter. That'd be a lot. Here is our dog Samson. He always likes to see what is cooking. Everyone say hi to Samson. So we've got some melted butter. And then I'm going to use tongs because that butter is warm. And just dip the donuts in the butter and then in the cinnamon sugar mixture and put them on a cooling rack. It's super easy. And at first it looks a little odd because the sugar is wet, but when it dries, it's going to look just like the cinnamon donuts you buy uh, when you go apple picking, when you go to the pumpkin patch. Um, and, and they taste just like them. And they're baked and not fried, which Honestly, I don't know how they make them at the, the orchards, um, but I always trust homemade more than I trust store-bought. As you can see, this goes really quickly. Now these taste great warm, but I'll be honest, I thought they tasted, last week when I made these, I thought they tasted better the next day. Uh, they taste great warm but make them ahead of time if you want, and they're fine. They're great for two days when they're not refrigerated. If you refrigerate them, they'll last for five days. If you decide not to put the toppings on them, you could freeze them and they'll last for several months. Um, now me, I don't have that type of willpower. If I make donuts, I don't want to eat donuts. So as you can see, our butter is getting a little low. We're gonna have just enough so if you want to put more on the apple bites, you have to melt some more butter and our apple bites are cooling right back here. You can see how they popped up. They're just like little brownies, but they're gonna taste like uh, apple cider donuts. They are delicious. I liked them without the cinnamon sugar. I'll probably put them on it this week because my wife, uh, Heather, said that she likes thinks it would be better with it, so we'll give it a try. I'm all about experimenting. So there you have it. You've got a dozen apple cider donuts. Don't have to go to the orchard. Don't have to pay the uh, ridiculous pumpkin fees. And they're going to be, they're great. So this is just a taste of fall. Uh, I'm going to be doing some soup recipes soon because I love fall cooking. I love fall flavors. Uh, so stay tuned. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll put the recipe in the comments. Don't be afraid to like, or don't forget to like my Facebook page or follow me on YouTube for more recipes and tips. 
Anyway, I'm Chris. This is my kitchen. Thank you for stopping by.